Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Crowded Learning, and in this video, we are going to walk through the steps that you will follow to add publisher resources into your skill block library. Now, in the videos leading up to this point, we have created a single skill block on single digit multiplication, and right now that skill block has a number of online learning activities from various websites that align to that skill that provide games, provide lessons, and provide additional practice for students on this concept of single digit multiplication. However, you have curriculum resources that you use with students and oftentimes form the basis of your uh, curriculum that students are using those books in class and perhaps you want to know what lessons from those books align to this skill as well as what online resources align so that in class you can be using that book with your learners and then students have access to all of those online resources outside of class through skill blocks. So I'm going to go to this button here called Manage Library. And right now I have no print resources in my library. So I want to add print resources. Now, just to be clear, when you add a print resource into your skill block library, what you are saying is this is a resource that me and my students have access to. So you have this available in your school or your center. And what it's going to tell you is for any skill that you want to teach, these are the lessons or activities within this book aligned to this skill. Uh, adding a print resource does not magically give you access to that resource. So you're adding things that you already have and are using or maybe wish to have. So we have three publisher partners right now. These are all adult education publishing partners. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw into my library one resource from each of these publishers um, that, are, that are commonly used by adult educators and that, are, um, that I know aligned particularly to the skill uh, that we have created in, in skill blocks here. So I am going to first go to um, the College and Career Readiness series from McGraw-Hill Education and I'm going to add in this Number Concepts book. So I just select it and click Save. And now that has been added to my library. Uh, Score Boost is a series from New Readers Press that I know is widely used. And since the skill that we have created, the skill block, excuse me, that we've created uh, in our uh, skill block library is at level M of TABE, I'm going to add that. So here's that. And I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to add one resource from um, Paxson Publishing. They have a series for Table 11 and 12 called Table Tutor. I'm going to add that resource into my library and click Save. So now I have three print resources in my library. Note, this is something you will do as a one-time step, really. You'll do this up front when you start using skill blocks and add in all of the resources that you have access to. And the only time you're really going to need to go back here is if your school purchases uh, new materials. You can go into my library, add print resources, and see if those resources are in the skill block library. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go back to the skill block that I have created. And again, as we just saw, the only resources in here right now, lessons and activities, are from these free and open educational resources. So I'm going to select learning activities to add. And rather than have to sift through everything, I can simply uh, select which publisher, the free and open uh, publishing uh, resources that we have, as well as the on uh, publishing, uh, print publishers, excuse me. So if just to recall, for this skill block, there's a bunch of resources that align but we only selected the ones that align to this standard because we're going to focus this specifically on multiplication. And so I am going to sift through what I've added and only add those resources that align to 4NBT5. So first I'm going to click on McGraw-Hill Education's resource and that's the one that aligns. So I'm going to add that, then New Readers Press. Um, we see that this is the lesson that aligns from this product and then Paxson Publishing and we see this is the lesson that aligns to this particular standard and I click Save. Now, in order to not disrupt the work that you've already done, 
all of those resources will appear at the bottom of your skill blocks list. And so now, say again, I want to use these as my um, anchor resources. All I have to do is bring these up to the top and uh, I might have to scroll a little bit to do that. But here I will bring those up to the top of my skill block. And so now in the order that these will appear, uh, the publisher resources are here up at top. This is a simulation that I sort of want students to explore before they even go into a lesson. And now I've got the books that students have access to, so they see those at the very top. And then they see free and open education resources that align for additional practice that they can do anytime, anywhere.